So hi, John. Hi, Ed. Uh, we are here at uh, Synthfest, and you are here with wonky stuff, right? Yes. That's so right. you are making modules for the A modular yes. uh, like system, right? Yep. Yep. So tangible waves, A modular system, a real modular synth affordable for everyone is the strap line. Um, I don't know if people are familiar with it, but there's plenty I've of uh, we've, yeah, YouTube we've seen stuff it. Around. We've seen yeah. it in Superboost before. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're you're making some kind of interesting stuff. So do you want to just talk us through some of the line of what you've got on yeah. show today? Yeah. So um, I happened upon a modular in lockdown, realised it fitted with some of the experiments I was doing. So I became the thir first third party maker in 2020, um, which is quite scary. So yeah, we do the first module we did was a three by three matrix mixer. The the precursor to this, this is uh, improved design. Um, but we also do the most popular thing, which is the RBSS, the random bit shift sequencer, based on the concepts behind like the Turing machine. So if people are aware of the Turing machine, I'm sure most people are. Um, we have a quad VCA. Um, I just put that put this in for a, a VCA as sort of a as a density thing to get four. Normally there's a there's a standard two VCA. Um, since then, there's a, a quad from Tangible Waves. Um, as a sister to that module, there's MoCo, which is a morph controller based on the uh, behavior of the DERP for A144, I think. The, so it produces, it produces um, overlapping triangular envelopes based on a CV or a, a position knob, um, which you can then use as CV inputs to the quad VCA to be able to crossfade between sound sources so you can have nice evolving textures, that kind of thing. Um, the core, um, which is a programmable device, you program it over audio, so you download WAV files from our website, or if you're an Arduino programmer, you can make your own things. We have a little support library to allow you to make your own WAV files. So just like the, you know, just like the 80s home computer thing. Um, Biot, this was a collaboration with Matt Wand from Hot Air. Um, this is literally a touch play. Each of these sections connects to one of the headers. Um, so you could feed an oscillator into one and audio out into the other and then basically crossfade with a slightly damp finger or a, you know, whatever. And you can become part of the, part of the circuitry. Um, we also last year launched the micro drum modules. So this was a relatively new format for the A modular. So as if this isn't small enough, we've now got the ability to put three modules in one, uh, one width. Definitely so useful for drum modules. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so these are bass drum from DR55, rim shot from DR55, uh, open and close hi-hat from DR110. There's a symbol from DR110 and the 808 cowbell because yeah, more cowbell. More cowbell. Um, we also have clones of the Bastel Castel um, range. So we have the original Castel, Castel drum, and they released a new, the new uh, um, ARP module, I think, two or three weeks ago. Um, so I downloaded, they're, they're very, very open with their code, so it's on their GitHub. So I downloaded it, flashed it into a drum, and I've been sort of playing with that, and it's, it's quite interesting. <coughs> Um, obviously, so I'll be working on a, a slight revision of a f the front panel without the sticky labels. Um, but brand new for this year, so we showed these kinda in um, Berlin, are the MIDI controlled mod range, I guess. So we start with the MB1, which is the MIDI brain, uh, which takes a normal TRS input. This is TRSB, but the next version will be TRS A or B. Um, and will take you know, a regular MIDI signal, and it splits into 16 channels plus the uh, clock information. So the interesting part here, and this is don't think has been done elsewhere, is the data that you get out of here is, let's plug that one in, is MIDI data. It's not a CV. So if I press something on my, this sending control information, that's obviously digital noise. But the digital noise 
mean something to the um, MIDI modules. So if we plug that into the MIDI input, we've got an output, and now we can play badly notes. Um, the oscillator is broadly based on the architecture of the Juno 6. Um, so we have a sub, a ramp, a square with with pulse modulation, um, and also pulse width modulation on the mod wheel. Um, it does pitch bend. Um, oh, and there's a noise source as well. So you can use that as quite a you know, it's quite a flexible um, sound source. Let's turn the noise down. So that's great if you like droning along, but let's make a patch so we can use the gate output of the MCO into a um, envelope generator, output of the envelope into the CV here, and let's patch the audio into the audio input of the CV. So now we've got a note and we can start playing with the, you know, the regular kind of um, notes as you would expect from you know, any, any oscillator really. Uh, so the oscillator um, has last note priority and it remembers like, up to eight notes so you can it's quite it's quite nice to play actually. Um, so that's the gate output. There's also a trigger output. So every time you press a new key, um, it re-triggers. Which normally I would, you know, typically I would patch that to another envelope, and then control um, and, and then filter or something. exactly, yeah, yeah. So let's patch through instead of doing. Let's put that through a filter, low-pass output. So these these are obviously standard, non. These are voltage-controlled um, modules. Fairly standard. Um, and let's turn the. So now you've got. You can hear the filter envelope re-triggering and you know, there you are um, so so when, when are you hoping to kind of have uh, that ready is it ready to go now yeah they're on the web shop right, right okay. now yeah so, so one thing that's in just while we're on the oscillator front one thing we're I'm currently playing with is the because you know the thing about um, MIDI is that you know you've got all the benefits of having note ons, note offs. So um, this is in development now. So you can actually you know play and again this one that's being driven from one wire. So to make this we've got MIDI in, audio out. Amazing. The end. If you're working on a different MIDI channel, you want to listen to a MIDI, different MIDI channel, you can select which one you're listening to. It just happens that this is only transmitting on channel one. Um, I've been using the OPZ as, um, as a sequencer, which is quite nice. You've got a bass going on one and chords on the other. It's, um, <coughs> yeah. Right. So um, obviously the, uh, one of the big benefits of the A system is that it's cheap, right? Yeah. So yeah. how cheap is it? What is um, the price of, of, of so these new... Do you have a price on the new Yeah, so the, the new, new MIDI modules are 25 quid each. So that's a MIDI control oscillator. There's a MCC, which is the MIDI control uh, controller extractor. So it has four... extracts four, channel, uh, four controllers. There's a MIDI to trigger converter, which is useful to pair with the drum modules. Um, so you map, you, you basically set, set the root note for zero and then the, f the 
eight notes Up from there that, yeah. mapped to those different trigger outputs. The same with the MCC, you, you, know, you push it into learn mode, tweak a knob, and then you've got those four controllers. Um, and then there's also a clock division module. Um, and this is something else that's built into the MB1, is that you, know, you don't always want 24 pulses per quarter note. You might want a 16th chain or slower. Um, so there's a, a web-based web um, editor, UI editor, which sends system exclusive, blah, 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 technical. Um, but it allows you to specify different clock division rates, um, which is quite fun as well. So you can set up like you know, a 16th hi-hat, four on the floor, kick drum, offbeat, hi -hat, open hi-hat, without, effectively without sequencing anything. Um, so that's you know, it's quite fun to play with. Excellent. Well, John, thank you very much for speaking to us. No and, problem. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thank yeah, you. Brilliant. Cheers. Thank you. Mm.